Hello everyone, and if you read the title for this video, I am filming an unboxing, which I haven't filmed, I think, for like a year, longer. It's been a really long time since I filmed a proper unboxing, really because all the boxes I get, there's only like one box, there's no point, and I do boxes though in my vlogs when I get books, but this is like a book box unboxing, which I bought for the reason only that it's a VH Schwab in this that I wanted a special edition of. And then I had to get the goodie box because it was sold out for the book only option. So that's why you're getting this video today. It is actually the April box of the bookish box. And it was shipped really late because they had delays. I didn't actually keep up with why those delays were. But here it is now and I'm excited to unbox it with you guys. Uh, so they already spoiled what the book is. It's Gallant by Vee Schwab, which was released in March. And uh, I'm really hyped because that edition I think is super pretty. And I'm excited to see what other stuff is in the hair. I kind of got spoiled a bit because of uh, taxes. But um, I'm still curious to see. Am I holding it the wrong way? I don't actually know. Let's just ruin this really pretty like paper here on the top and uh, see. Whoop. Maybe I shouldn't be standing. I should have sat down, but I'm not usually that smart. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, I'm gonna put the box down and let's go through the items. So first we have like the little pamphlet thing of April 2022 and it seems to be like kind of what's in the box you know, the spoiler card-ish. So I am not gonna read through that now. Then paper. And the first thing we have is... What is this? I am scared. What is this? I think... It's like a... I was gonna say it's a perm that you have around your book, but it seems to actually be a photo album. But I might be incorrect. It has like this nice little bag that you can use for other stuff. It's really reusable. Is this a photo album? Oh my god. Oh my god, it literally is. I thought you were gonna have like a book in here to protect it. It's a photo album, so you could stick stuff in here. Now, I will be honest, I don't print out photos much anymore. I never really did like properly. But this is actually perfect. Sorry, I smell like an idiot because of what's standing on the outside. It's perfect for my journaling because like I have a lot of like scrap pieces and a lot of stickers and I can definitely use this just to have stickers in it and like just pieces of paper I don't want to get lost. So I would probably use it for that. But look at it. It's actually even more perfect than I thought it would be. It's Twilight. I'm dying. I have totally forgot which panels is in this box, but Twilight? Taking that any day. Look at that. Oh my god. Okay, okay. So I would definitely use this for my journaling stuff because I assume it is a photo album. That's what it seems like. I might be stupid. It should, it should be because it's shaped like one. But this, this plastic bag, by the way, it's really nice. And again, print album, it says. For prints. That you get in boxes. Well, I hang those on my wall. Well, photo album, print album, whatever you call it. I was just gonna say that this plastic bag was kind of nice, and I will probably use that for my journaling too to keep stuff in it. Another thing in reusable plastic. I really like this bookmark weaponry. Oh my god, it's a weapon bookmark. Let's see. <laughs> this is so exciting. I forgot it's kind of fun sometimes, even though you get a lot of stuff in stuff you never use. Okay, I can't get it out. Ooh. Oh, oh, this is, uh, this was hard to hold. What is, so you're supposed to have this in your book, obviously. From Blood and Ash, it says. I like that you, they tell you, oh, you can't see that. They tell you, like, on the thing, so you know which fandom it is for. Because I never know. I haven't read from Blood and Ash, but this is a cool bookmark. It really is. It looks fancy. I think I would be scared that it will rip my pages. But it still looks cool. Print of who? Behind is a teaser for the next box. But I don't know who this is. Does anyone know? Maybe I will look at the spoiler card afterwards. And then we have another little thing. Something fell out. <laughs> Which seems to be a journal. Why do I love these plastic bags? <laughs> you can reuse them. That's so clever of them. It said even on the bag what the stuff is. I'm an idiot. Line notebook. Nice. Home is a choice. And I think this is from Yushua Bissas, but I think it's from Gallant. Because I read it, but I don't remember if it actually is. 
Oh, it's cute. It's really cute. It's like you can choose the date and the month, etc. Oh, I like this. Now I want to use it eventually. <laughs> I say that for my billion other notebooks I have. But yeah, I, I like it, okay? Oh, and then we have a Taurus candle, which is actually my zodiac sign. So literally got my own zodiac sign, not even planned. It says from the 20th of April to 20th of May. Obviously this was the April box. It makes sense that this would come with the box, but I didn't know it was like a luminary zodiac candle collection. Do they get these every month in the box? I don't know, because I only bought this one. But the fact that I got my own one is so planned, so cool. Let's see. So I have a bunch of candles I got in institution boxes. I never lit a single one. They're all just for decoration. But yeah, oh my God. Oh, looks so cool. Thank you for giving me my own zodiac sign, Sandra. This is so flat. I love it. Let's see what it smells like. <sighs> really soapy. I don't actually know. I'm not good with smells sometimes. Still, it's a nice one. And then this bookish box on the top. Love the look. Can you focus? Do I need to hide away? No, there. Ah, in one second. Sorry, I ruined it. But yeah, love that for me. All planned, all planned. What's this? Mexican Gothic and necklace. I haven't read Mexican Gothic yet, but I am high for it and I think I'm gonna love it. And here is a necklace. It looks really cool. I don't think you can even like, need to know this is for Mexican Gothic. I think you could just, you know, have this and just wear it. And uh, it looks really cool. So yeah, too bad I never wear jewelry anymore, but maybe one day I will. And now for the whole reason I got this box, we have the book, which is in this the cutest little sleeve thing. It's like really like, yeah, I don't know how like sturdy this will be, but definitely reusable. So there's obviously the bookish box on it. Love this, by the way. And I can see the spread. I just, I'm so hyped, let's see, let's see. Oh my God, it doesn't have a dust jacket, I didn't know. Okay, I need to breathe because I spent a lot of money on this and if it's not pretty in real life as it was on the photo, I will be so sad. I can't see. It's good. I know you can't answer me, but is it good? Okay, it's good. It's really pretty. It's really shiny, shimmery and splendid. <laughs> Sorry, I just watched Aladdin. Ah. Oh, the art, the sprayed edges. It's so different from my other editions. And yes, I have a few. And I love the look. I love it so different. I love the like, ah, oh, ah. Oh, I would die for this book. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, I am so trash. Here's even like a little letter, a long letter from Ria Schwab that I'm not gonna read now. More art, Um, excuse you. Excuse you, and then the book starts. More stuff here. So it's literally like the whole thing. It's stunning. I have no regrets. <laughs> As for usual, I love it. And actually, you know, the items weren't that bad. I stopped being that interested in subscription boxes because I ended up with so many items that I didn't know what to do with and they were just lying everywhere and I didn't use them. Even though I actually have gotten over the years some items that I use frequently. But these items, like, I, I don't hate them. I don't hate them. I especially love the Twilight one. That was, like, a nice one. And I know I will use it for my journaling, so it's not bad at all. But this is stunning. And I'm so glad I spent so much money on it. And it goes perfectly into my collection. I'm so happy. No regrets for this. It really feels like a special edition. It's really different from the other ones. Because I have some that are all really, really similar to each other. Love that for me. Love it, love it all. So yeah, that was this unboxing. I really don't know have more to say. I mean, I want to check who the dude was. It is Castel from Blood and Ash series and I haven't read that. So yeah, it was something like, what's it called? Like a teaser for the next box. And then there's also a shirt, but I, I think I ordered the one without the shirt. I didn't need a shirt, but yeah. Even like an interview with Ria Schwab. Oh. I love Schwab. Oh, okay. Okay, love that for me. I actually don't don't hate it, even though I had to pay taxes to get this box and it was a bit annoying. But other than that, I had a great time. Love it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video, a little unboxing. It's been a long while and it's it's fun. Okay, unboxes are fun. Leave a tree emoji down below in honor of the Twilight thing. 
Lige ved, vi ses.